February 22nd, 2018. Uh, this is specifically for the DRock uh, watt and hour um, amp hour and watt hour digital wireless meter. The model, specifically model VAC-1100 or part number 4416766699. Uh, these meters are pretty cool. Give you a shot of them here. Uh, I'll turn my light off here so you can see. I'll zoom in. These are the D Rock meters. Uh, it's a watt hour meter. It does uh, 0 to 100 amp hours and I think 0 to 120 volts DC. Um, I have two of these set up. Uh, uh, these are on my uh, solar powered system for my greenhouse. Uh, coming out of the charge controller going to the battery is what this one is for uh, so I can monitor how much power we're putting in and then this one over here is for monitoring everything on the load side of the battery um, I have to say these instructions were confusing to say the least uh, and everything I read online said the same uh, I did find one YouTube channel I will reference his video here as well uh, thanks to him for his help uh, I don't remember the name of the channel off the top of my head, but uh, their instructions are, uh, they could have been written more clearly. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I want to help anybody who's trying to hook one of these up uh, understand how to hook them up and do it easily because it took me some, uh, I read the instructions, I checked out the other YouTube video, and I still wasn't entirely clear on it, so I went and read up on shunt meters. Um, which is a good education, but I digress. Anyway, so this is the D-Rock meter. This is the unit. Uh, we're just going to ignore this meter on the left-hand side for now because that's the in incoming power from the charge controller. So in order to hook these up, they have to be on the negative side of the system. And basically, you want to put this meter in between the load that you're connecting on the negative side of the load, the output negative side of the load, so you take the negative terminal from the load to the meter, and that'll go on this side, not the side with the terminal block, but the opposite side, okay? And then your power source, whether it's a battery or a power supply or whatever, will go on the other side, the side closest to this block, okay? Those are both negative. This goes to negative on the battery, or negative on the power supply, whatever you're connecting to, okay? And then, in order for this meter to work, you have to supply positive power on the plus V in on the plus V inside right here okay on this terminal and for this setup I don't know about the other setups but for this setup you want to be in the 2W position on the jumper that's for 2 wire okay and so that has to come from the positive side of your battery and uh, that's basically the correct way to hook these meters up um, their instructions are not super clear, uh, but these are pretty cool meters so far. Uh, I just got them up and running about half an hour ago, so uh, as to their longevity, I can't speak. But uh, these are set up in the wireless mode. Uh, you'll notice uh, this one is on wireless channel A01, and this one is on wireless channel A02. These are a Bluetooth type connection. I guess they're good for up to 10 meters. I haven't tried uh, any great distance. Obviously, they're not far from the from the uh, the actual sensors but uh, my intent later on is to take these and grab the data coming off of them and import it into the database on the Raspberry Pi over here and collect that data to the database so we can actually monitor solar uh, usage and power and all that sort of stuff in the database along with all the other data that we're collecting from the Raspberry Pi uh, it's set up right now to collect uh, temperature and humidity data but eventually that's going to control all the uh, inputs and outputs for the greenhouse and probably also track uh, track with the solar panel. Um, but anyway, uh, for those of you just trying to hook up your D-Rock instruments uh, meters, at least this style for the two-wire configuration, that's how you do it. So uh, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll put a link to the other YouTube channel, the guy who helped me. Uh, and uh, thank you to him for his help. And uh, yeah. I guess that's it. I uh, hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.